so it's it has the additional the the, the project uh, project structure or the additional files like you have some some the the index of HTML file which is standard index of HTML files and it has the most important files like like the the global level is uh, style, the style sheet the style CSS file the style of CSS file the global level and the, and also the the global level main .ts files. So this is all the global installations, the the uh, project structure or file structure uh, for the the initial project creation when you create the Angular applications with the ng new uh, project name. So this is the project name that you have. It. So then you have the most important one. Another one is called uh, Angular Angular JSON. This is the, all the the, the module definition, your project structure definition, configuration, and also the the your asset uh, asset asset resource location, style locations, and then and so on and so forth. These are all the all the definitions and the. When it's default definition, when you create the, the Angular application with the Angular CLI, then additionally, sometimes you need additional information to add the, the some CSS file and add the, the, uh, or other files in the in the into the into the you 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 add your JS files JSON files. You need to be manually include where which part of the files you need to get there. So you see, we have asset folders including icon folders. And then all has the style files. So this is the default. For, this is the style from the our application of CSS style. And it has asset of CSS file, asset of CSS folder, and liplet CSS file. And it has a node node module liplet dot all the all the all the this uh, the this uh, CSS file. If you need additional one, then you need to be adding here in the style that you see. So you see the scripts, the additional scripts. Uh, we put it like I said that uh, I said that put the reset dot leaflet and JavaScript library we put directly into the into the set folders. But you can also install the uh, the leaflet independently install uh, leaflet version. Uh, the the source code is there just look you can install the leaflet code. But I put it here just like the in the project structure. I, I put all the port site like install the leaflet in the in the from the browser from the Hub, GitHub, uh, from search for uh, directly from from GitHub, and then also I put it like the uh, script into the directly into the asset folders. This is special. So this is definition. All the files. This is the most important file for your project configuration or for the setup or for the uh, project installation. So just we concentrate it and uh, do the some more Google it to understand the basic structure. How can you? How can you understand? How can you manipulate? How can you install some new, 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 new files or new configuration or new style configurations or other sources of your configuration files? So this is the most important part. It's automatically created. The additional uh, what you need, what you need, you need to be put like the, the open layer scale to here. You can see, and you need to be manually input the. Uh, uh, that you, you, you dependencies and also manually the use CSS and style files for respective libraries like open layers like 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 uh, reflex uh, JavaScript libraries, command libraries. And it has original the the proxy. It's automatically coming the proxy the configuration files. This is I will discuss this a bit later and how can you uh, proxy set up uh, to to go uh, to build a user and your application because you see the proxy for the calling the microservice application microservice is maybe your microservice running the USA or, or Canada then you need to be called the microservice from those servers so this is the proxy setup how your microservice need to be called and this is the most important part that I say and uh, this is your server so we will define our geo functionality geo maps in the geo server and then uh, maybe start with the geo server that can be uh, can be held, and then start the view server. Then this view server needs to be run, and view server is running uh, into the port number uh, that you define it here. The port number here, the view server local host. Maybe the view server running in the USA. Then you need to do that here address of the view server and port number of the view server, and it's all the services that you define to the view server that is, is the proxy setup. Then it's, it's professionally set. 
So that means this is a good application. I try to give to you the really, really uh, the, the understanding of the project structures and how how the the Angular application you, know, you can communicate with the different microservice application and even though the the most important part how can you communicate uh, your geo server application or geo server a spatial data set how can you call it uh, with the different uh, different service formats like WMS, WFS or WCS uh, depending on the type of service you are calling then you will need to be uh, configured as externally as professionally configured your applications then you can globally set the this this configuration files to inject the, uh, the settings that communicate uh, connections and then all the information is externally to configure and call this configuration file into the resource code files that's why i will define the define the implementations but you got the idea what the professional has to be designed uh, the config uh, proxy configuration so yeah even though you have can kind of proxy configuration for or you have a package JSON files, but all the dependencies is one of the most important is coming the default structure. It has how many dependencies you have it, and just you when you install the new dependency, you see uh, then it will automatically fill this package JSON file, and then you see the our leaflet you install the leaflet 1.6.0 installation, then all all dependencies injected into the package JSON file. So it's automatically created. If you need a new one installation, you just do the installation as I all. So here you can see the script part that's really defined. As I say, uh, we, we MG, MG sub, we started the application with the MG, MG sub and the uh, and the sub and port number 505, uh, port 405 and the proxy file that we define the proxy communications. So proxy communication is with all the communication is done to the then by the proxy dot. Uh, complete your JSON files. So it's, it's, it's really a uh, professional design. Those are new into the, this, this structure, the popular structure. Please Google it and then look for the structure that I said uh, this is the professional way to handle the, the applications so of deploying the application into the different environment. Doesn't matter which environment, production, release, test, and then and then QA department, QA installations. It's, it's up to you. Just you need to simply change the the URL of the your uh, website microservice application, microservices, and then you need to do change your URL for the user applications uh, URL file. So it has a lot of proxies. So you see the development proxy there, you have a production proxy there, you have a QA product proxy there, and by default it is that it is a development proxy. So you can define also individual proxy, you have a test proxy, so depending which which part which environment you try to run the application you just set with the, the uh, proxy setups and then this application has to be go uh, the deployment process but it's a lot of customization a lot of process you need to be handled so installation devops so i will discuss a complete devops process how can it work with the devops so i already discussed that complete devops process and uh, for the for the for the microservices with the java and the spring boot you can follow my channels to get a video how can you can handle the, the uh, screen boot application DevOps process how this works the continuous integration continuous deployments so we got the idea the basic structure like uh, any angular application has the app it has sources and it has sources as an app and it's with the under the app component app and directory it has the components it has the service definitions and and it has all the uh, project structure in the basic uh, basic application that is HTML file, CSS file, ES file, TypeScript files, and then it has modules, app modules, and then it has the dependency, all the properly handled the dependency, and then it has with the uh, dependency into the Angular JSON file, Angular so JSON file dependency, it has a proxy setup, which is not a need to proxy setup, you don't need to do it this way. And after that, if you proxy setup, it, it clearly works, and then you need to do uh, you have a compile, compile just like npm start, which the application has to be clearly start. So it says application, you just write down this application, maybe development, uh, demo development, software development application. Uh, or I see it, if I run the application, application is running. Application. Let's say it's 
is the required application, which I save it, and if the case automatically compiles, you see the compilations, particularly around the application. It successfully compiled.